and Inventorite. It is comprehensive cloud-based inventory management application specially built for restaurants and retail shops. Let's get started and log in. After successful login you get redirected back to the app. It will show inventory summary of all your items across all locations. If you are logging in for first time then you have to do one time quick setup. As indicated in setup section, click on menu icon and then click on setup. Things you need to set up are locations, materials and vendors. Let's click on location and quickly set up location. Click on plus icon and you will see the form to add location. Let's quickly enter location details. I have saved two locations. Now let's go back and add some materials. Click on menu icon select setup and then click on materials. Now click on add materials. Here you will see two options one to manually create new material and second to add from Clover inventory. If you choose to add from Clover inventory you will see the list of all items in your Clover terminal. Let's choose soft drink from the list. After choosing the item you get redirected to the materials form. Let me quickly add the details. I have added a few materials. You can also enter materials manually by clicking on create new material. Now let's add a few vendors. Go back and select the menu icon. Then select setup and click on vendors. Click on plus icon and you will see vendor detail form. Let me quickly fill the form and enter some vendors. I have added a few vendors for now. We have successfully completed the setup. It's time to load inventory. Click on menu icon and select inventory. Now click on load inventory. Select the location where you want to load inventory. Here you get two options one manually enter material details and second load from purchase orders. For now we are selecting first option. You will see all the materials that you have set up here. After entering the quantity click on review and confirm. Here you can add some comments if you want and then click on save changes. Now you get redirected back to the dashboard and see all the summary across all locations. Now for second location summary let us order some inventory. In order to do so click on menu select inventory and select order inventory. Here you will see all the vendors that you have set up. Select a particular vendor. Enter the quantity of the materials and then click on review and generate purchase aid. A purchase order will get generated. Now click on save button. Now go to load inventory and select the second location. Now we will select load from purchase orders. It will give us all the open purchases. We will select the recent one. Click on save changes. As you can see the inventory get loaded from the purchase orders. With Inventory you can also move inventory from one location to another. Say from warehouse to store. In order to do so click on menu icon select inventory then click on move inventory. First choose the source from where the item will get moved. Now select the destination location. Here you will see all the available inventory in the source location. Now add the quantity you want to move to the other location and click on review and confirm. You can also enter some optional comments and now click on save changes. As you can see inventory got moved from one location to another. As part of regular process you can do cycle count or physical count of inventory to match the inventory as per inventory application. If they do not match then you can do the correction in the review inventory. In order to do so click on menu and then select inventory and click on review inventory. Now select the location where you want to add or remove the item. 
Here you will see the available quantity. After entering the new quantity click on review and confirm. You can enter optional comments and then click on save changes. Inventory Ad is integrated with your Clover terminal and anyone makes any order it get reflected directly in the application. Let's see this in action. Let me place an order of soft drink. As you can see the stock get automatically deducted from the location. Alright so that is it for Upcogent Inventored. I hope you all learned the core functionalities of Upcogent Inventored. If you have any questions please just feel free to email us. Thank you. Bye.